Hi there, I'm Pat Rothfuss, and here are some one-star reviews that I have never read before. Kingkiller Chronicles can be summed up like this, quote, I am Quoth. Listen to me brag about how awesome I am for an entire book where nothing much happens. By the way, I am awesome. Really, really awesome. Did I mention I'm awesome? Flex. <laughs> he is awesome. Rothfuss's new novella, Things Are Picked Up and Then Set Down Elsewhere, certainly lives up to its title. If you have a sexual fetish for descriptions of things moved from one place to another, look out, because Christmas has come f***ing early. <laughs> the Swords Point audiobook is all about the bisexual love polygons, and the characters are self-centered, irrational nitwits. Sigh, that's one credit I'll never get back. That's right. I read this book based off all the positive reviews, and it was so dreadful that now, whenever I am reminded that it exists, I get angry all over again about the time I wasted on it. <laughs> this poorly paced, awkwardly written book spends so much time in its first half repeatedly telling, rather than showing, that it's rather like having the author elbow you in the ribs and giving you a great big wink every couple of pages. Subtle as a house fire. So the first one is a one-star review from Goodreads uh, about my book, Among the Ghosts. Uh, my name is Amber Benson, by the way. I didn't say so before. Uh, this is an awesome book. Scary, mysterious, and cool all at the same time. So cool, mysterious, and scary that they gave it a one star. Bang, 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 bang. That's the sound I make out of my b-hole every time I try to read this nonsense. <laughs> Main characters of The Privilege of the Sword were either homosexual, whores, or sadistic rapists. Who is this written for? Pre-teens? Not for adults. Uh, this two-star review I found interesting, so I thought I would include it. Uh, two-star review. This book was good. One to read, but it wasn't interesting enough. Rothfuss's world is about as strange and dangerous as a mashed potato sandwich. Ha! <laughs> I really did not like this book. For most of it, I just read the words off the page without absorbing them, which explains why I didn't under really understand it until the end. I stuck with it out of respect to the student who recommended it to me, but honestly, I wish I could have the last five days of my reading life back. Everything about it, from the plot to the characters to the twist at the end, just made me want to gag. That being said, I guess I can see why it might to appeal to teenagers with poor taste in books. It's a darling potpourri of mystery, drama, fantasy, romance, and mob life. Just what my bipolar students will enjoy. Uh, one is a two-star review that I also thought was funny, and by funny, I mean not funny. Um... <laughs> Thank you. Whew.